Hello Pokemon fans, Maniac here with the Mages Archive, yep, I'm, I'm sure you guys already know what's going on here, I know the title is already saying what's going on, and uh, the date is just, you know, yep, I made sure, I made sure we had one to open, let you guys uh, let that sink in there for a little bit. The uh, nice poof of the Eevee there. There's a side. There's our back. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff right there. I'm really excited to get this open. And uh, I know I just used the Charizard mat for the last video. I'm actually going to gently open this one up. I'm not going to scar it. But uh, I figured, you know what? This mat was the mat I used in the last video, which obviously was just said. Um, but in that last video, we did pull oops, a Charizard. So, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll give her a shot. Look at the Eevees. Of course, lots and lots of goodies. I'll slide that to the side there. We can get a bigger view. The Elk Remy. Got the amazing rares. Oh yeah. There he is. That's what everybody wants, right? Right? Yep. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Now let's take a look here. Let's see what our poster is. Uh, here. I knew it was around there somewhere. There we are. We've got the poster child at the very top. Maybe more. And that is uh, the Shining Fates poster. So we went straight from Hidden Fates to Shining Legends. Shining Fates. I mean, yeah, there was a Dragon's Majesty and a Champion's Path. Maybe, maybe next one is going to be like Dragon's Champion or the Dragon's Path or the Champion's Majesty. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. We got 10 Zeboosters in their nice, glorious glory. We'll split them up into five. Set them to the side. I know, I know, I know. I'm moving slow. Not a huge fan of the uh, the brown dye, though. The uh, the orange Charizard dye were definitely uh, a lot better. Do like the sleeves. Do like. Do like. And, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing different there. That's, that's definitely still the same. And, uh, yeah, we've got our dividers. And there is our IV. The maps. Let's go ahead and crack that open. I haven't heard of any secrets in this box, but, uh, there we go. That is a... Gorgeous card. I like it a lot. But, and again, I like, I love the Eevees. We'll, we'll, we'll double check in the un, 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 unlikely event. There's like a secret card or something. Yeah. You never know. I like, I, I, I've never heard of it happening ever, but, uh, who knows? Maybe, uh, there is your code for the ETB. Enjoy that. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, uh, I know how much you guys love Iradu. But without further, let's crack the first one open. Let's do this. I don't know 
how much I'm actually going to get to open of this. Wow. Am I the only one that sees that? Okay. We're just going to leave it at that. Oh, wow. Let's, uh, let's, let's fix this here. I'm, uh, yeah, just sort of, uh, you know, doing my own thing, I guess. Completely, uh, spaced out. Toss that energy. Thwacky. A little floatzel. And then a tropius. And, um, yep. Grookey. Hey, there's a little Eevee. We like the Eevees in their discount Pikachu. Dollar store Pikachu. Ooh, our first shiny. Shiny Vault Sinchino. Very nice. And Professor's Research. Alright, so our first shiny vault is a Sinchino. Very nice. Alright, there's another code for you. Here we go. Ooh, Team Yeltowl. I can dig it. Rusted Shield. Eldegoss. Glossifleur. I know, I ignored the Choodle the last one too, but I, I'm not a big fan of Choodle, so. <laughs> oh, Kekne. Ooh! Another shiny vault, this time an Indini V. Wow, so that's two shiny vaults in a row. What is up with that? Wait, not not complaining. Followed by a Rillaboom. Huh. That's pretty crazy. Two shiny vaults in a row. The, uh, the fates are definitely shining brightly. Yep. I, I think that's that's just what that's going to be every time I see that card now. It, it, it'll be our, our, our thing, guys. It'll be our thing. Every time it's pulled. Oh, Luxio. I like Luxio. He's cool. Yep. Every time... That snom is pulled. Yep. All right. Let's let's move on. These cards are are getting impatient. I'm sure the folks watching are too. There we go. Little hussy. Oh, another discount Pikachu. This is a different art that time. Interesting. A little reverse hollow Volcanion. Then a Zarud for our rare. All right, now come on, these cards are just being unruly right now. Absolutely unruly. Oop. There you go. There's your code. Of the energy and our rusted sword to go with our rusted shield. Hey, it's ball guy. Everybody needs a little ball guy. We can uh, have ball guy hang out with Snob. And uh, yeah, a little Nicket action. Another shiny bolt. Galarian Berserker. Okay, I, I don't know if this is just a high pull rate, like if I'm just being that lucky, or if, uh, yeah. Because I, I know I was, at least initially, I was hearing that the shiny vault pulls were a bit on the low side. Here we are. Here's a code for you. And... All 
All right, a little Cormorant action. Rusted Shield and another Eldegoss. We've already gotten those two. Imagine we're going to see a lot of those because typically in these half sets, the uh, there's not a whole lot of the commons and uncommons like variety. I mean, they, that, not that there's really a whole lot of variety to begin with in normal sets, but it's even worse in these half sets. So, oh, nice little reverse hollow Rotom and Boss's Orders. Interesting. Lissandra. Interesting indeed. Hmm. I was unaware of uh, Lissandra taking over for Giovanni. Toss that. A little Tropius. Did I put more commons in that pile? Yes, I did. There we go. Alright. A little Rotom action to go with our reverse hollow Rotom. Now, I, I don't know, you know, what you guys have heard or if you've heard. So, um, Shining Fates is now keep in mind this is related to this very first wave of releases so yes there's two waves of shining fates you've got the first wave which is the etbs the v10s um a reverse hollow rusted shield and a crobat v very nice so that's our first secret rare we got four packs. But yeah, um, Pikachu Vs, V10s, ETBs, EV, EV, EVTBs, um, and the uh, Mad Party boxes. And then the second wave is the Premium boxes and the Mini Tins. Um, but this first wave is actually going to have four waves. So I know, like the Mage's Archive, um, we uh, kind of got an early look at our allocation numbers um, earlier last week, but something didn't seem right about them, and uh, so I wasn't, you know, counting my chickens before they hatch. And uh, sure enough, shipments were uh, starting to roll, and I was actually seeing the real numbers, which were far, far less. Um, thankfully, um, even though with this box, you know, we're all counted for, um, we definitely have enough to, you know, fulfill everyone's, uh, reservations with the exception of some mad party pins and, uh, me tins, which were definitely the, uh, the hardest hit of them. I mean, I know what most people want the ETBs anyway, because you know, they've got the most cards. Um, but the uh, people also that are trying to complete a set, you know, they're going to want the promos. Yep. Um, they're going to want the promos out of the uh, the V10s and the Mad Party boxes and all that kind of stuff. Little ingredient. V action. Man, like... This has been a very, very good box. Got two packs to go. But, um, so, I guess, you know, Pokemon's trying really hard to keep up with demand. And, um, that's how they're going to do it. They're, uh, apparently going to be, uh, you know, pushing out a lot more. I think they really kind of did this anyway with Champion's Path. Um, I think it was maybe three waves. Um, but they didn't actually like come out and say it. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's really going to be that much different. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Hopefully, uh, we will see uh, restocks. You know, 
sooner than later. Treadnaw, another one of those. Is that a river? Yeah, you can barely see the foiling on that. You see that? Yeah, we will, we shall see. Um, and depending on how that goes, removal. And on if I can, you know, get my hands on some more shining face. I mean, I thought did think maybe I I could, you know, snag a box from Walmart or something, but there's there's definitely some some shady stuff going on at our uh, at Walmart. And I I I I've been hearing this kind of stuff, you know, like all over the country. So from folks all over the place. Yep. So if you're watching MJ Holdings, um, yeah, definitely uh, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. All right, here we go. Ooh, amazing rare. Yvetel. 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 And I think there's something nice after this amazing rare. Nope. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Like, like, I don't think I've ever seen that many high-end cards out of a single ETB before, e even out of Champion's Path. That's three Shining Vaults, two Ultra Rares, and an Amazing Rare. So, yeah, if all these boxes are like this, then... Yeah, I don't know. I, but no Charizard, but I'm still I'm happy with uh, pulls like that. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, look, this early look in the Champions Path. I'm not doing values. I, I'm sure you noticed, but um, yeah. Hope uh, you guys get to open yours soon, and uh, I'll see you guys soon if uh, you know you're local and you come pick up your box. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one. Take it easy.